India, an exceptional member of the global scientific elite. Home to an unparalleled pool of creative minds and a new age hub of science and technology infrastructure. From the ancient discovery of zero to the recent Mars orbiting by Mangalyaan, India's meteoric rise has been driven by tools of knowledge economy, transforming it into a 21st century science and technology superpower. Since independence, the government of India has strived to establish cutting-edge science and technology infrastructure in the country. Breakthrough policies have accelerated the pace of discovery, in turn driving India towards faster, sustainable and inclusive growth. Now, in the 21st century, these efforts are bearing remarkable fruit. The Department of Science and Technology drives research at the cutting edge of science be it creating sustainable solutions to 21st century problems in India or participating in path-breaking international collaborations like the 30-meter telescope or TMT. The 30-meter telescope, a giant eye to explore the universe and the most powerful telescope under construction in Hawaii. India joins the global TMT collaboration as a 10% partner the TMT collaboration will push India's technological capabilities into new and exciting areas. It will also give Indians an exclusive seat in the TMT's observation rooms, putting them in the thick of global astronomy. The Department of Biotechnology has pioneered in agricultural, animal, marine and medical biotechnology for nearly three decades. In recent years, it has pioneered the Rotavac, India's first indigenously developed vaccine to eliminate a major scourge of the developing world, rotavirus diarrhea. Priced at just one dollar, the Rotavac will soon be included in India's national immunization program. The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, under the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, has consistently remained a premier R&D organization in India. It has a group of 38 national laboratories, 39 outreach centers, three innovation complexes, and five units. CSIR's path-breaking programs in recent years have been vast and varied. From developing the world-class confocal microscope, operating over a wide range of wavelength, to developing biojet fuel. These innovations have had a diverse range of applications across various industries. CSIR has historically risen to the challenge of innovating in the face of technological isolation from other nations, a challenge that in 1980 resulted in India's first supercomputer, Param. Such pioneering spirit has led the Washington Post to remark, an angry India does it. Another pillar of growth and innovation is the Ministry of Earth Sciences. It has taken center stage in forecasting Earth system phenomena thanks to its various departments and institutions. For tracking and predicting cyclones, the Indian Meteorological Department has implemented the Global Ensemble Forecast System and can prepare local communities through the Cyclone Warning Dissemination Systems. Post-2004, warning systems have also been developed for tsunamis. A 24-7 Indian Tsunami Early Warning Center has been set up at the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Service. With such state-of-the-art predictive technologies, the Ministry of Earth Sciences has ensured another layer of security to India's citizens. As India enters her 68th year of independence, she finds herself amongst the top nations leading global research and innovation. International collaborations are pushing Indian science to greater heights, while indigenous science is solving immediate and emerging national concerns. Child and youth-based schemes are igniting scientific tempers of India's future generation. The time has come for India to take its place on the world stage and proudly proclaim, Vigyan aur Pradyogi ki ko jano, Bharat ko mano.